All right, today we're gonna to be going over a quick, funny, hilarious bait strat that New York had all the way back at Major 3. I don't know if it was intentional or not. I'm pretty sure it was intentional, uh, but they used a trophy to help them get a first blood against Toronto. This is all the way back at Major 3. And you know, I dug it up through my VOD research a while ago. I pretty much forgot about it until a few days ago when I was looking for some YouTube content ideas. And you know, I really didn't see too much on Twitter about it or the casters really mentioning it too much in game while it happened. So I just wanted to bring some light into it. So uh, let's get right into it. All right, so to give you guys some context, major three qualifiers, it's embassy search, two to two between New York and Toronto. Uh, and the previous offense, New York actually got fully stuffed by a B counter, the same B counter that I had previously done a video for. So check that out if you haven't seen that already. Uh, so Toronto had done that B counter and now they're going back to uh, you know a standard spread. And in this round, uh, what's really important is to show you uh, what everyone's using on the New York squad. So we have two subs in terms of, you know, Kiz and Hydra, obviously. And then uh, you have an AR Priesta and then Skies, another AR. Thing is, Skies is going to be a trophy player for New York in this situation. All the other guys are running Deddy. Uh, you would see a lot of times people would use a trophy if they were going to go on a quick B hit because obviously you'd need to trophy uh, this box over here. So anyone that might be going quick B uh, would not get hit by any tax while they were trying to cross towards to the site. So uh, he's gonna actually take a trophy, but he's gonna go top PD with it. And I'll show you uh, the reason why. On the Toronto side, they're gonna be doing a little 2-2 split. One guy bottom orange, one guy is gonna make his way to top AC. Uh, they actually have scrap that's gonna be sniping uh, the cross in case there's anyone that was gonna be crossing there for New York. Unfortunately for him, no one does cross, so he's gonna end up backing his way up uh, towards this uh, back plat. The other guy is Hixie. He's going to be P2, and he's gonna be playing any sort of defense towards the A side. Uh, basically playing at this corner, making sure that anyone who pushes out bathrooms or who pushes out these side stairs uh, gets info on him and he can teamwork with Scrap if uh, he's watching over him with a sniper. Uh, as you can see here, the standard spread from New York is going to be more uh, heavy A focus because the two guys are going to be working towards the halls. And this is where the super uh, big brain funny moment comes into play. So I'll fast forward here. As you can see here, no one on scrap screen crosses. So he's gonna back up more towards this milk truck and jump up to the back plat above A site. So he's kind of giving up Hixie for a, a little bit of a second. And the big thing for New York here is the gap in the setup. So when scrap is making his way back up to the plat, he doesn't have Hixie's help on anyone that might be bashing out front bathrooms anymore. So Hixie is alone. He he has his help on anyone that might be going deep uh, this way through P2 or through like the back trucks area, but he doesn't have his bathrooms for him. The only help that he technically has is number three who's watching top office. So he's not gonna be able to see bottom bathroom either. He can only see anyone that might be trying to help these guys get out bottom bath uh, from top office. Unfortunately, uh, for Hixie and for Hinsight, uh, no one is going to be top office. So he has absolutely no help here. And then obviously the guy at B is worried about himself towards uh, Orange, so he can't help at all either. So this is where the supreme bait play happens. So you have Paco and Kiz playing inside the halls. What Skies is actually going to do is he's just gonna throw his trophy out into the open here. It's gonna land mid alley. You know, so deep into this round, you know, this trophy absolutely does nothing. You know, you're not gonna be coordinating your tax later on in the round, especially in this area of the map. You know, might, you might be able to do it on a bomb site or something on, on a specific map, but for this map and for this area where the trophy is going to be covering, you're not gonna be coordinating tax anyways. So what this trophy is going to be doing is literally just gonna be bait to see if they can catch the P2 player that might be watching the cross to just shoot and as he's shooting and reloading, the two guys' hauls will teamwork him and get a free first blood on the guy P2. So we'll fast forward into the round. As you can see, Paco and Kiz working their way slowly at this bottom bat door. Skies throws this trophy, you'll see it on the next screen, throws the trophy here. You know, it's not hiding behind anything, not even the palm head glitch or, or the sign here. It's literally out in the open for him to shoot and hook, line, and sinker, Skies is able to get Hixie to take the bait. He shoots with his, his tack, and while he's shooting and starting to reload, Kiz and Hydra are gonna be teamworking, bashing out of the front bathroom to kill him for free. As I said before, he has absolutely no help on these bathroom guys because he's going to be backing up 
during this timing to try and get a better angle on anyone that might be P2. Obviously you watched the cross at the beginning, but he's backing up now. So this is that one gap in the timing that New York is able to exploit. As you can see here, Hixie starts shooting the trophy, starts to reload. And as soon as he starts to reload, Paco is already jumping out, making his way. He gets the kill easily on Hixie. Even if he died, he would have had the trade from number five. Number one cannot help him absolutely at all. As you can see, the black box and this building are completely covering and it's a free first blood out in New York. From this, they can now start team working wherever they want. If they wanted to, they could wrap towards B. If they wanted to, they can just keep making their way towards A. But that was a pivotal moment in the round because that was the one player that they could have exploited and they did that perfectly. So they actually decided to start hitting through laundry to kitchen. Uh, unfortunately, I think they end up losing this round anyway, uh, but it's only because of a, a, a poor mistake here. Priesta gets caught out from the sniper. You probably should have waited for these two guys to start activating onto the site. Uh, before moving on into a possible sights of a sniper so regardless you know they end up losing this round but i thought it was just so funny for them to actually catch hixie completely lacking there and shooting that trophy i'm surprised i haven't seen too many uh baits like that using the trophy but you know if you wanted to take some type of lesson from this don't start shooting trophies especially in search in the middle of the round uh, when you know you're not going to be trying to coordinate attacks on them anyways, you know, it's probably just a bait. And from that, if you do it to an enemy, you can get their position completely and start team working that guy as he's reloading, just like these guys did here. Now, I can only find one other time that they did this specific strat. This was during the major four tournament versus uh, phase. Unfortunately, phase does not fall for the bait. So uh, they tried the strat again, as you can see, playing the spread once more. Instead, Skies is actually going to be taking the bomb, but it really doesn't matter with what they're doing because if they're able to succeed in what they're doing, they can just wrap to wherever they're, they're going anyway because they are playing a spread. So uh, as you can see here, they're still hiding in the halls. Actually, Kismet is playing the top office instead of this round. So they're just banking on uh, Paco to try and make a play off of this. As you can see, Skies throws the trophy out of the top office. It's going to land right around uh, the petty. So it doesn't fall in the exact place that he would have wanted for a possible bait. Unfortunately, number three is not even looking in that direction. He's the, the guy P2. And here, number three, who is playing P1, he's playing in the near this black box area. He's actually gonna see the trophy land right next to him as he's pushing up from PD. Uh, so he was probably super confused as to why they were even throwing the trophy. He was maybe even thinking that they were gonna dive out uh, similar to what FaZe does, but uh, it was literally just for bait in, in case uh, they can get this P2 guy to, to start making a play off of it. Unfortunately, they don't. And FaZe doesn't uh, buy it at all. And they're not able to do anything off of it. So figured I'd show you that just because it was another opportunity for them to do the same type of thing. Uh, but they don't fall for a bait. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this little fun uh, bait play. You don't really see too much baiting like that in the CDL with an object. So uh, when it happens, it is pretty funny. And I figured I'd uh, show it out to you guys. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.